So there's a pretty good chance that no matter how new you are to business, you've heard of the term SaaS. SaaS stands for Software as a Service. And the basic idea is that it's a piece of software typically accessed through the web that somebody would pay a reoccurring subscription price, usually monthly, but sometimes yearly, in order to maintain access to. All of your favorite streaming services, so the Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Netflix, those are all, in a way, SaaS. Now, while I've seen a lot of larger businesses and corporations leverage this particular business model, I haven't seen nearly as many creators do that, and that's understandable. Doing a SaaS-style business can be a massive investment, and that's something that somebody who is just an independent creator or solo independent professional doesn't always have access to. However, I do think it's becoming more and more possible, particularly with a lot of the clients that I've worked with, I've actually built SaaS platforms from the ground up all on WordPress. However, the point here isn't for me to pitch my own services. The point is to say that it's far more possible than it's ever been before. However, one of the biggest hurdles I would say, even just outside of the process of actually building out a SaaS app, is coming up with a plan for what type of SaaS product you would even build. So that's why I decided to create a simple, easy to use, free tool that will actually walk you through two of what I would say are some of the biggest hurdles when it comes to creating a SaaS product, which is first, the idea, and second of all, the plan for how to implement that idea. So let's go ahead and take a look at that free tool and it is called SaaS Planner. Okay, so once you create your SaaS Planner account, you'll be able to see this section here where you can create a new plan. So that's just what we're gonna do. And as you'll be able to see, it's just gonna walk you through a series of questions. And the more specific that you can be here, the more specific of an idea and a plan it's gonna be able to create for you. So I just have some placeholders here that I've already written up. Uh, so this one that I'm creating here is for a YouTuber who has a bunch of courses and eBooks and does tech reviews. So again, the more specific you can be with your audience or your business or the type of audience or business you wanna create, the better this is gonna work. So. What's the end goal of the SaaS product? What do you want it to do for you? Do you want to you know, boost your income? Do you want more email subscribers? What's the goal that you're trying to achieve through the creation of this SaaS product? Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll paste in so the basic idea of what you think this SaaS app could do. So if you already have an idea, like if you want it to be a to-do list, if you want it to help, you know, in this example, you know, group together and categorize gear, whatever you think you would want this to do or the problem you want it to solve, That'd be the answer here. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and click create plan. And this is just gonna take a few minutes just to analyze our answers and then generate something for us. Okay, and it looks like it has completed. And as you'll be able to see here, it has the title or the name of the product, the SaaS product it has created for us and then when it was last edited. So let's go ahead and click on that and we'll start to go through and take a look at what it has generated for us. So like I said, it will generate for you a name of your product. And again, this is just meant to be a starting point. So you don't necessarily want to take this whole thing and say, okay, now the whole plan is finished. This is meant to be kind of a springboard to get you thinking. And you can go through and eventually there will be editing capabilities in here so you can actually edit your report. Can't do that currently, but you will be able to. But the point here is to create something that you can start with uh, that can propel you forward into actually creating your own SaaS product. So again, so this one came up with the name of Gearbase and it came up with a slogan or tagline, organize your gear, optimize your workflow. Like I said previously, this has actually created a SaaS product that would, you know, be tailored for the, you know, example that I'm using in this, which is a videographer who, a YouTuber who does gear review, right? So his whole audience needs the ability to be able to organize their gear. So this is generated for him a SaaS product plan uh, that would help his customers solve a problem that he is already trying to help them solve through his YouTube video. So it's a whole separate product to help them do that. So for the report itself, it's gonna tell you, you know, what is it? So a, a gear base is a cloud-based platform designed for photographers, videographers, and other creatives to help them manage their gear inventory. I won't read through all of this. I'll just give you a quick overview. So who's it for, what's it do? What specific problem does it solve and how does it work? And then I would say a very important piece here as well is that it will actually list out a number of pain points. So what is it that this SaaS product is going to do uh, to alleviate these specific things? Or who is it for in regards to what pain points they might have and how is the SaaS product going to help them with it? So if you're losing your gear all the time, 
uh, forgetting essential gear, difficult communication about equipment needs with clients or teams. These are the pain points this SaaS product is meant to help alleviate. Then the target market. So I'll give you a quick overview of what that target audience or target market looks like. And then the all important audience segments. So we can start to get drilled down into niches that we can reach with this SaaS product. The buyer persona. So this would be an example of a person who would find this SaaS product beneficial. And then those underserved niches, which I found really interesting as well. So you've got your, kind of your primary ones, ones that everybody would think of, professional photographers, videographers, but then drilling down even further into some particular niches that maybe nobody is serving. So like wildlife photographers is very niche, but in a very real way could benefit from having a SaaS app that could help them manage their gear. Okay, so the industry will break down. Okay, this is where we start to get into the concept of competition, right? So this is gives you a quick landscape of what the competition looks like. Then there's something called a SWOT analysis, which breaks down the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Again, this kind of gives you a, a little bit more of a bird's eye view in terms of how this particular SaaS product could fit in alongside others. Then they'll list out some competitors. So here's some competitors. Maybe there's already SaaS products or tools out there that are currently achieving this. So it would be a good idea to probably go through those individually and see how much overlap there is and then how much you could stand out from the crowd in regards to those competitors. And then it gives some tips in terms of how to thrive in this industry. So some potential ways that you actually can stand out from those competitors. Then it's gonna come up with a basic idea or starting point for your, your brand identity. So this will be a style overview. So just a brief introduction to a style you could uh, begin to pursue and then a sample color palette to go along with that. From there is the all important features and benefits. So features would be those items or specific tasks that the SaaS app helps somebody achieve. So things like gear tracking, list sharing, gear lists, gear categories. And then what is it that those specific features help somebody achieve? What's the, of course, benefit to those things? So streamlined workflow, increased efficiency. Why is it that somebody should care about those features that have been suggested as a result of this report? Then the MVP, this is gonna be a really important piece to fine tune and nail down. These of course are just suggestions, but the MVP is the minimum viable product. So in other words, this is the what you could refer to as almost the beta, beta version or uh, just a version of the SaaS product that you can launch. Um, as we all know, with SaaS products, we're constantly adding new features and improving things, but what is it that this should include when it's ready to you know, go live at least to a portion of your audience? And here are some potential first steps to take in order to get to that point. From there is a pricing model. So this is gonna look really familiar if you are familiar with SaaS apps, and that is uh, the pricing model. A lot of these will be freemium, and so it looks like it recommended doing a freemium model, which works great. This means that you've got a really basic free account that somebody can create. And then of course they upgrade to, to get additional features uh, as they go. Then lastly, we'll have the build, and this is just simply going to give you some recommendations in terms of how to approach the build of this SaaS app. Um, I would highly recommend WordPress because it's gonna be faster, more secure. It's gonna help you get up and running uh, a lot quicker than you would than starting from the ground up of a number of other ways in which you can actually build out a SaaS product. You can just leverage what WordPress already has and it takes you light years ahead of, of where you'd have to go to, to build out something that could cost you know hundreds of thousands or even half a million dollars to build out on other platforms. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be working in a bunch of new features in the coming months into SaaS Planner to make it even more useful. But if you'd like to check it out now, just scroll on down and click the link in the description. As always, if you found this video interesting or useful, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.